Go. Um, it's hard to get a good stripping on the tail. So you can always shape up the tail a little bit. And you also don't want bald spots because sometimes they're rubbed away. Camo! Enough! They're cropped in a way that leaves all the spots, so you want to be able to cover up anything, imperfections and stuff. So I shape up the tail with a thin and sheer, and blend it, come up with a body coat going into it. Okay. Okay, so we're blam blending the seam all the way down onto the shoulder. If you need to blend a little of the hair onto the shoulder, you can do that with the thin and sheer as well. You're also blending the hair on the head, around the ear, so it lays flat and isn't sticking against the ear. Okay, that's it. Come here. Okay, when you're trimming the hair, you ready? You're good. When you're trimming the hair around the outside edges of the ear, you want to go around the edge first and pull everything out away from the ear using your finger and your thumb. So it's sticking straight out. Easy to catch with the scissor. You then want to put your the ear leather between your thumb and your finger to protect it. And you're only using a small portion of the scissor at, at a time. Cutting a small amount so that you're not likely to cut the edge of the ear. Do a very small amount at a time. Dogs move. If you're trying to cut too much and the dog moves, you could be in trouble. less of this as you shave with a shorter blade as the dog gets used to it. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, we're going to work on the face now. You're going to pull your beard and your mustache and your eyebrows forward. Comb them in a forward direction. Get everything combed properly. When you're scissoring the eyebrow, you want to get the head as level as possible. Your, your scissoring, your line is the corner of the nose to the corner of the eye. And you, you want to get it flush to the side of the head. So there's no, no overhang over the corner of the eye. The corner of the nose is your line. Don't put the, the corner, the edge of your scissors too close to, to the eye. The corner of the nose, corner of the eye is your angle. Okay. We're going to thin and tear between the eyes. Most of this in a puppy will grow in and lay flat, so you don't want to take out hair that eventually will blend into, into the beard. Okay. So we're going to thin and shear between the eyes. On a hard coat, it's, it takes a long time to grow coat back, so you don't want to cut more than what you, you need to. And this is a puppy, so some of this hair will actually grow back in camo and lay flat in the in the beard so we have to be careful what we we can always cut more later on as it grows just um, what we're doing right now is creating a separation between the eyebrows and we're getting any hair that may be growing up towards the actual eyeball that could cause irritation if you're doing a german fall you would not do the separation you would only clear a little bit in front of the eyes and at the very bridge of the nose You're coming up, laying flat, and going straight up.
We're leaving all this hair to try and grow in. You can always take it down if it doesn't. Stop. Stop. Camo. Boom. A little harder to do on the other side. You have to do it from an angle. Down. You also want to blend the stripped area now into the side of the face. When you're blending the face here, you want to pull it forward and you want to blend along here. I want to grow some of this hair in more on him so I'm not going to do a lot of thinning right now because this was clippered a little too close at one point or else it just hasn't grown in so this is our angle though corner of the eye to the corner of the mouth this from this area back should be shaved this should not so this needs to grow in longer okay the final thing we need to work on today is the underline comb everything down should be going from the elbow up to here. You want to be very careful around this skin here. So we're just neat, neatening that area. And I'm just making a straight line. Protecting. sensitive areas. We don't cut anything. It helps when they stand nice and straight. Okay, let's do the other one. Okay, so I combed everything down. And carefully around that skin. Try and get him to stand straight so you have a straight line. Straight line up here. Again, be very careful where you're cutting. Okay. 